So the day after the show, everybody was here. The winner, the unbelievable Ronnie Coleman was there. Jay Cutler was showing me off his abs. Gustavo, the freaking Rican Badel was there. Gunther Schlierkamp, that's a good name. He was there, the million dollar smile. Dennis the Menace James. Victor Martinez, the Dominican Dominator. Bob Chicarillo, George Farah, Darren Charles, Dave Henry, Jen Hendershot, Yakseni Oriken Garcia. Everybody was there, and the seminar was awesome. What's up, everybody? It's Pase, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna talk about my first time going to Las Vegas, the Sin City. The year was 2005. Five weeks after my arrival in the United States, I had a chance to go to Mr. Olympia in Las Vegas, and I wasn't going to miss it for the world. I came to the US with only $400 in my pocket and big dreams in my head. Well, you know what they say, if you dream big, and take action, shit happens, or you make it happen. So in my case, I actually committed to the Mr. Olympia by buying the ticket. It was $130 back then. And I believe it included the night show, the expo, and the seminar on Sunday with the pros. Having the ticket, now I needed a flight. Luckily, I had a great roommate, shout out to Gotze, and he lent me the money. I got the ticket, and I was ready to go. So this is all happening last minute. I didn't know where I was gonna stay. I didn't know anything except for I'm going to the Olympia. On the shuttle bus that was driving us from the airport to the strip, I was sitting next to a guy named Peter. That's a good friend of mine to this very day. Back then he was living in LA and he basically told me that he would like to save money on the room by sharing it with another person. So I'm like, great, I am in. So now, I have a place to stay as well and I'm saving some money because I didn't <laughs> have much. I was basically broke at this point. Here comes Saturday and I'm off to the expo and I was officially mind blown. You know how people are a fan of Star Trek or they go to Disneyland? For me, my Disneyland was Mr. Olympia. Every character from Disneyland for me was a bodybuilder from the IFBB. I got to see, meet, and even chit chat for a brief moment with Kevin Lebroni, the Maryland Muscle Machine, Linda Murray, Larry Scott, the first ever Mr. Olympia. He won it two times in 65 and 66. Amazing arms, as you remember. Man, those biceps, insane. And that's why we have the Scott curl today. Sergio Oliva. The second Mr. Olympia, he won it three times. And he's one of the three people to beat Arnold. This guy, he's called the myth for a reason. His body's proportions were insane. Super small waist, super wide shoulders, the chest, the arms, the legs, insanity. Always stylish. Sean Ray, another amazing bodybuilder. He plays top five, I believe, in over 10 Mr. Olympias. I love his mindset. How did it go? It was like, when eating, think excess. When training, think of being the best. Something along those lines. Lila Brada, one of the best posers ever. He was one of the smaller bodybuilders, but the way he showed off his body was just outstanding. He made the bigger guys look smaller. Bodybuilding is an illusion. It's about presentation of your best look. Nasser El Sombadi. Macedonia used to be part of Yugoslavia, so I consider him a fellow Yugoslavian. Lou Ferrigno, the Hulk. He was the only guy at the expo I didn't take picture with because of two reasons. One, he was charging 10 bucks. He was the only one to do it. And two, I was broke. So he let me take a picture of himself alone. Lee Priest, how do you pack so much muscle mass on a, such a short frame? Just insane, such an inspiration. Frank Zane, another legend, three times Mr. Olympia, one of those three people that has beaten Arnold in a competition besides Sergio. And he's also my inspiration for sculpting my body because I look at his proportions, his shape, I always think 
am I sculpting my body according to his metrics? Stan McQuay, Ed Corny, one of the best posers ever. He was also one of Arnold's training partners. If you've seen Pumping Iron, that's the guy with a mustache. Troy Alves, another great physique. Young Phil Heath, the future seven times Mr. Olympia. Before he came on, Jay had to win four titles and Dexter had to get one. But once he took over, it was literally game over. Phil Heath, the gift. Quincy Taylor, incredible tall bodybuilder. To fill out that physique, because the taller you are, the harder it is to fill out, it was just mind-blowing. Don Long, Dorian Yates, six-time Mr. Olympia from England, the shadow. There were a couple of other athletes like Triple H from the WWE and Andre Arlovsky. Back then, he was the heavyweight champion of UFC. The night show was incredible. As expected, it came down to Jay and Ronnie. And Ronnie, he was the king and literally came on stage dressed as a king. And he won his eighth consecutive Mr. Olympia title that night. Joe Weider and Arnold were there. They gave a nice speech, both of them. And I was lucky enough to find Flex Wheeler in the crowd and snapped a picture with him as well. Sunday comes and now it's time for the seminar. I remember the seminar was only $10, but it was so much value because you get to meet and greet all the pros and all the guys that were competing the night before. Some of them weren't at the expo because you know when you're dieting, you don't have the time nor the energy to be at the expo. I mean, you're going in there to win potentially. I think back then it was like $80,000 for the first place or 130. First place, yeah, I think it was 130 first place, 80 grand for the second. I mean, it's a lot of money. So the day after the show, everybody was here. The winner, the unbelievable Ronnie Coleman was there. Jay Cutler was showing me off his abs. Gustavo, the freaking Rican Badel was there. Gunther Schlierkamp, that's a good name. He was there, the million dollar smile. Dennis the Menace James. Victor Martinez, the Dominican Dominator. Bob Chicarillo. George Farah, Darren Charles, Dave Henry, Jen Hendershot, Yakseni Orican Garcia. Everybody was there and the seminar was awesome. The seminar ends and now it's Sunday afternoon. I got $15 in my pocket left, cash. I got no credit card. I have no more room or a place to stay because Peter left and my flight is on Monday afternoon. I'm stuck. What do I do? Well, at least let's get to the airport. The shuttle was five bucks, so I shuttle from wherever I was in Vegas back to the airport. I have now $10 left in my pocket. I call my friends in New York and I tell them, look, help me out, get me out of here, get me back to New York. So they tried and they just could not find a seat on the plane because they were all booked. I was trying to get there last minute and sure enough, everything's booked. Now I have 24 hours ahead of me at the McCarran airport. I need food and I need strategy. I looked around, I found a Starbucks coffee shop and guess what? They had muffins that were less than $2. So I ended up buying five muffins. I believe they were all different flavors. If you go to Starbucks, you know that there is free milk, to add to your coffee. I would take that milk and pour an entire cup. So every, let's say four hours, I would have a muffin and I would have a cup of milk with it. And I did that for the next 24 hours. I survived on muffins. I slept at the airport. 24 hours later, I got to my flight and made it safe and sound back to New York. Las Vegas, my first time ever. What a trip, I'll never forget it. Thank you guys for watching. If you're a bodybuilding fan, I know you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell button. Love you all. Until next time, stay positive and sweat excellence.